invited on our way to coaching uh, this evening, Evgeny, to do a quick interview with us so you can get to know him a little bit better. But just can you state your name and where you're from for us, first of all? Uh, my name is Evgeny. I'm from Kazakhstan, where I be began my weightlifting career um, more than 10 years ago. So, how long have you been in Australia? Um, I came to Australia five years ago yeah. as a skill miner, uh, full time study in Victoria University. Oh, yeah. um, I'm studying mechanical engineering. How long, how many years have you been actually weightlifting for? So, how long is your experience basically? I've been lifting more than 10 years. I started weightlifting, uh, if I remember correctly, that uh, when I was 12. And um, it was a really funny story how I uh, started. Uh, my friends, they brought me in mm. uh, because they started weightlifting and I was jealous yeah. because I, very, I was a very, very, very tiny guy, like 32 kilos uh, of open body weight. Yeah. And uh, I always was, I didn't know much about Olympic weightlifting and I thought um, that I need to build up my body mass and mm. muscles. I, I wanted chest and some of my friends, they already had some chest, some biceps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I thought about uh, bodybuilding, that I need to attend some gym and do some weights. And when they told me that they're doing weightlifting, I thought they're doing like a bodybuilding. I didn't know that they're doing a weightlifting, Olympic one. Yeah. And on the way there, they were trying to scare me that the coach is too strict and hard, you know, he's like the scariest person in the world, beating everyone yeah, yeah, yeah. with a broomstick or with a uh, shoe, a shoe, you know. <laughs> and in, basically you, you explained why you started it, because your friends got you into it. Um, through the years, how many competitions did you do and how successful were you in competitions? Uh, uh, well, I was always successful in my uh, state competitions mm -hmm. and um, I believe that I never lost uh, in my body category mm -hmm. uh, since I started, uh, since I'm, I was 12, 12 years old and uh, in the period of 5 years or maybe even 5-6 years uh, I probably never lost in my uh, body weight category. Yeah. I was always uh, a winner. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. And uh, I'm just getting on to your getting on to the actual lifting now itself. Um, what was your biggest snatch? What was your biggest clean and jerk that you ever ever had? Uh, my snatch was around uh, 125, 125. One, 125 kilos. Yeah. And my Best clean and jerk was around 155. 155 kilos. 150, 155, and even maybe 160. Really? And what body weight would you have been when you lifted those, um, those weights? Under 77 kilos. Under 77 yes. kilos. It, about roughly 75, 77. Yeah. Yes. Okay. My well, body weight. Guys, uh, that goes straight out to all you uh, lighter lifters out there. Anyone that's under 80 kilos, under 77, it's doable. You know, with a lot of time, a lot of patience, and yeah. working on it, you can get off. It's achievable. Yes, it, oh. it is achievable. The technique is the main part of weightlifting. It's not. It's not the strength. It's not necessarily the strength should be the main part. Mm -hmm. uh, technique is one of the most important parts, especially for snatch. Okay. Yes, snatch is all about technique. It's not about strength, because uh, many people they can do deadlift 200 kilos. But they cannot snatch even 50. Yeah. But big, and it doesn't mean that 50 kilos is heavy for them. It means that lack of lack of the technique, they can't do it. Yeah, or yeah. lack of the uh, mobility or flexibility. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. Um, and have you, in those competitions that you've done in um, state or national, have you ever trained with any well-known lifters? Uh, such as uh, Ilya Milia, yeah. or Vladimir Sedov, or Almas Utyashov. Uh, we've been, of course, we've been in different weight categories, but uh, we were sharing the training area, we were sharing the competition area, and uh, we've been. They were at that moment they were uh, pretty famous uh, in our country, but uh, but now they really famous in the world in uh, weightlifting, Olympic weightlifting. And my final question to you, Johnny, is um, what makes you want to be a weightlifting coach? Um, to become a coach, it would be. Uh, Pretty handful to have a, a part-time job and uh, just to get experience in coaching as well mm -hmm. and 
uh, to deliver the knowledge that I know to other people. So they, if, so if someone is really interested in weightlifting, they, they can become better. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I think I, uh, I can share some very good knowledge. Yeah. If you are doing it pretty regularly, you can get really great uh, mobility and flexibility. Uh, yeah. to, to do a full snatch, squat snatch, you need a very good mobility and flexibility of your joints. Yeah. Technically, of whole of your body, whole of your structure has to be flexible and movable yeah. and mo mobile yeah. to perform this uh, exercise. Yeah. At least uh, two, three times a week, yeah. uh, some weightlifting exercises mm. to uh, improve your technique and to improve your lifts. Yeah. Yeah. 70 80 percent of your best and just uh, mix your sets and repetitions yeah yes you don't have to go every day or every time you start doing weightlifting you don't have to go up the maximum it's uh, not really good as well yeah we have to work on our technique because once you're going up to maximum you're losing your technique exactly yeah. yeah so we need to work on technique first and then we can work on strength as well yeah so yeah that's pretty much well, that's pretty much it. Thank yeah. you very much, Johnny. Thank you. And guys, if you want to come down to our gym and experience some of Johnny's coaching yeah. first time yeah. on a Tuesday night at 5.30, Johnny does be your coaching for a full hour. You're more than welcome to come down and try out his session. And I guarantee you, you will leave here with some brand new information about uh, Olympic weightlifting and better technique. They should. Yeah. They should. They guarantee. guarantee. He's modest. He's yeah. modest. Right, guys. Over and under. We'll see you soon. Thank Video. you, guys. <laughs>